Hey guys, this is going to be a little review I'm going to add it to the start of the mouse bed video for the Focus GG bed. Um, this is going to be the arm sleeve that Lethal was nice enough to send out to. Um, the price point on this is $16.99, I believe. And um, it's pretty good arm sleeve for the price, honestly. Because you're looking at like 20 to 25 30 for some other brands. Um, I do have a few to compare. Um, this does feel pretty high quality as far as arm sleeves go. I don't really use arm sleeves that much because they get hot and it's really hot and humid where I live. Um, but this, I would say, this was a really nice quality arm sleeve. It's a little on the thicker side, so you might you might think it's a little hot. I had no problems as far as like rough pads with plotting and anything it does put a little friction up there um i used it on the glass pad i have down here didn't have any issues used it on the i needed my speed pad um the curison pad which is coming soon uh i i didn't have any issues but it's really nice sleeve it does have like your um it all it's like your, I guess it's like silicone or rubberish band. You have like a logo at the other side. Um, this is a 2XL. I do have a little bigger size arm, so I would probably, I'm not sure. I have a bigger size arm and it's a little tight on me. So it may be a little smaller for you too. Um, I do have two other arm sleeves here to compare. I do have a blister scan one, but I have no clue where it's at. That's really good too. Um, I have the Skypad one right here to compare. It's this one's a lot thinner. This is really thick, and this feels a little more silky than the Skypad. I do have the Vancer one as well. Um, these do feel alike, and they do have. If you if you can see here, they do have the same rubberized piece, so they might be honestly. It could be like from the same manufacturer, but I'd say the focus does feel a little thicker. But say for sixteen bus, it's pretty high quality. Um, all of these are pretty good, I would say. Going on arm sleeve, I, I guess you couldn't really go wrong. I do. I, I personally, I think I do like the iPad just because it's thinner. But if you have no problems with getting hot or anything, I think the best choice would be the Focus. But thank you for watching and have a good day. Hey guys, this is going to be our review on the Focus GG pad. Lisa was nice enough to send it out to me, but it won't sway my reviews in any way. Just want to be honest about everything. Um, Pretty decent pad kind of reminds me of the venus lethal um all right I'll, I'll start with colors you only get black color hopefully they get more colors in the future as far as packaging and stuff like shipped it's shipped flat in a box so you shouldn't have any issues with that um stitching the stitching is really tight so you shouldn't really have any problems with the stitching or spraying or anything it's really really tight and really thin so level with the pad so you can't feel just like a hair but it's it's nothing insane you should be fine with that um or the glide it did remind me of the venus a lot but after going back to the venus i did find it a little slower than the venus which brought a little caught me off of guard a little bit it reminded me more of like the, the regular Venus instead of the Pro. I have the Venus right here. Bear the glides a little closer. So you do have a little. I would say the initial friction's close to about the same on the focus. Maybe you just like a hair slower. But you have a little less um dynamic friction with the, the Venus, and you have a little more like control with the focus gg pad this is a, so a soft base um x off venus so you do have softer base the, the 
focus gg pads at mid base so if you do dig in your pads you would probably want to choose that instead if you want a little more control you do get a little more control with like the saturn here um i would put the saturn at like a five control and i would put this probably like in your six range um well speed wise speed wise sorry speed wise is five on the saturn and you're gonna be looking at like a six or so on the the focus control wise i would give the saturn an eight and control wise on the focus i would give it like a probably like a six ish or so yeah six um it's a really solid pad i was really surprised i like it um the texture and feeling is a little more abrasive so it's like the hybrid type feel it's a little more abrasive than the of Venus, so if you have any problems with like a brace pad, you might not like it. Um, it's not terribly bad. I used it about a week and had no issues with like slowdown or anything. It's just more of your hybrid material, so it's typically going typically going to be like more durable than cloth. The base, um, I did have a little problems with like it not laying completely flat on these corners because you can see like push down um the base i i you i put my pads on a glass pad so it could stick to wood better it it does move a little but it's nothing insane so you might have issues with that not sure how it would do on like wood or something like plastic desk or something like that might do a lot better it's not terrible bad so um the sizing of the pad is 490 by 420 and 3.5 millimeter stick premium Japanese base and it does feel like it's a legit Japanese base because I know there's a lot of fake stuff going around um jack jacquard material which I'm guessing is what most of these hybrid pads are made of but I'd say this is more of like a balance on the control side like bar control but it's, it's no means like a crazy slow pad. It's, it's got a little speed, but nothing crazy speed either. Um, You're looking at, let's see, it's 50 bucks and you're looking at um eight bucks shipping. So you're looking at 58 bucks. It'd be nice if they could get the pad down to like, say 40 bucks. I'd say that's more reasonable price with how artisan you could basically get an artisan pad for this i know people are gonna compare um all the pads to artisan so i was just comparing but this isn't like any of the artisan pads i would say it's more like the venus if anything but a little slower um i do believe the pad will be durable for long term you could clean it and it should be good to go as far as like long term um but you shouldn't have any issues with this pad it's a really good solid pad i just wish they could get it down to like 40 so that way you can get it like 48 bucks shipped but thanks for sending this out um i appreciate it a lot um but i'll get some more reviews out on this x2 soon um stay strong fuck controllers and keep your head up and if you need anything like recommendations or anything like that as far as like mouse pad journey anything just hit me up on twitter feel free to message me anytime because i'm on a lot so i have a bunch of free time and glad to talk have a good day thanks bye